You know, so when we have like shortage of onion and India doesn't want to export it, first take note of our need of our country, which you will do as your country as well, you know. Bangladesh सबसे पहले अपने लोगों की जरूरत पूरी करेगा अपने लोगों की जो डिमांड है हिलसा को लेकर वह फुलफिल करेगा उसके बाद बंगलादेश इंडिया के बारे में सोचेगा यहां पर जो बंगलादेश की अडवाइजर है उन्होंने इंडिया को साफ इल्फास में यह बयान कर दिया है कि जिस तरह इंडिया के प्रायोरिटी होती है कि वो सबसे पहले अपने लोगों को फीड करें देन वो चीजों को एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं इसी तरह बंगलादेश भी इलिश फिश को लेके पहले अपने लोगों की डिमांड को फुलफिल करेगा उसके बाद अगर बंगलादेश के पास एक्स्ट्रा हिलसा फिश मौजूद होती है तो उसको इंडिया को सर्व किया जाएगा अब ये चीज जो है बहुत सारे बंगलादेशी कह रहे थे कि सबसे पहले जो है बंगलादेश के लोग खाएं क्योंकि इससे पहले शेख हसीना की जानिब से जो चीजें की गई कि शेख हसीना अपने लोगों की जो डिमांड है उसको एक साइड पे रख देती थी और इंडिया को खुश करने के लिए तमाम फिश जो है पूरी की पूरी हिलसा फिश उठा के इंडिया में भेज दी जाती थी जिसकी वजह से लोग बहुत बहुत ज्यादा अफेंड होते थे कि या ये शेख हसीना क्या कर रही है और इसको अपनी कंट्री की फिक्र नहीं है और ये इंडिया को खुश करने में लगी हुई है शेख हसीना के बारे में भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात कही गई है कि वो इंडिया को खुश करने के लिए इंडिया को फिश देती रही है लेकिन अब वो नहीं रही तो हमारी जो प्रायोरिटी है वो सबसे पहले हमारे लोगों की है ठीक है पहले यार ये मैं रिपोर्ट आप लोगों से शेयर करती हूँ इसको आप लोगों ने आखिर तक देखना है इंग्लिश में ये रिपोर्ट है आई एम श्योर यार आप लोगों को समझ आ जाएगी बहुत से लोग हैं जिनको मेरी लैंग्वेज uh, की उर्दू लैंग्वेज की समझ नहीं आ रही होती बट आई एम श्योर कि यार इंग्लिश uh, की तो आपको सही से समझ आ जाएगी तो वीडियो आप लोग आखिर तक देखें वीडियो देखने से पहले चैनल पर नहीं हुआ तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब और बेल आइकॉन को लास्ट में क्लिक करें ताकि जब भी मैं वीडियो अपलोड करूं आप लोगों को सबसे पहले नोटिफिकेशन मिले तो चलते हैं देखते हैं वीडियो Okay, so there's a lot of heartburn which is going on in India, especially West Bengal, and this is regarding the ban on one of the best fishes in the world, which comes in from Bangladesh, which is the Padma Nadi Ilsa or Ilish, as we Bengalis call it. Why has this decision been taken? Why is it needed to protect the people of Bangladesh? That's something which I would want to ask the Fisheries Minister, Interim Government, Faida Akhtar. Thank you very much for speaking to CNN News 18. First of all, you know, India. is disappointed bengalis are disappointed but if you could give us your point of view why this kind of ban on exports was required you see hilcha is a very very tasty fish mm. it is the best in the world as a bengali you know uh, once in your life you must have the taste of it but the what happened was you know due to uh, different uh, situations you know the bangladeshi people were not able to eat it the common people because the price was high and because of non availability we saw that the hilsha was going to india but our people were not able to have, you know were not able to access it so mm. there was a huge demand that bangladeshi uh, people should be eating it first and when i joined and i made my commitment that uh, you know bangladeshi should be able to eat first before not only to india you know we will not export it and mm-hmm. actually export was banned long ago it was only in in some time this is not uh, it was given you know so um, we think that uh, and also the ban period is coming you know the hilsha ban period is coming uh, that is in um, october so from 12 october you know 22 days so uh, during that ban period we would not like to catch hilsha fish also mm, mm, so but mm. that was done before without considering all these factors but ma'am you know i remember this ban was there in place earlier also but this is the durga puja which is coming up in west bengal as you are aware of so this was a goodwill gesture to use those quotes goodwill gesture by sheikh hasina to keep the bengalis happy and that's the reason 4000 tons or 6000 tons of ilish march or hilsa used to be sent to west bengal 
when you take yeah. away that and when you stop that uh, export of this it is seen as bangladesh is angry with indians and with bangali during the durga puja <laughs> no this is not you know you must uh, acknowledge that durga puja will also happen in bangladesh you see and it is a festival for both hindus and muslims it's a cultural yeah, you know occasion for all mm. of us so i think you know uh, so you know of course you know with um, yeah, with people in west bengal we have all our good will gesture we will give them all our best wishes but you know i am saying insult. this on it but not at the cost of not depriving our people so you think because it, was it a will wrong create decision? shortage it will create and this year there is a shortage already you know uh, of uh, hilsha catch so that's what you know we find that uh, you know if we allow export it will create shortage in our market which will increase the price of it also so this But, year you know there is you know, because there was less rain uh, when before the hilsha had eggs um, you know in their stomach and also um, uh, the production you know we couldn't do very much and not the production i mean the catching of it so already there is a shortage in the market and so we have been trying to reduce the price of at least the 1 kilo weight hilsha to keep it below 1000 we are still not able to do it is it is at 1500 taka which is not uh, um, possible for many uh, common people so mm -hmm. that's why you know i i really am sorry that i have to say that i will really mafte kintu ami mani am i think you know our people have been deprived you know it But was do you think ma'am it was a wrong decision by sheikh hasina to uh, export elish or hilsa at a time of durga puja as a goodwill gesture do you think it was wrong because it had upset your people uh, i think um, i would not say wrong or right but i would say that she did not her government did not consider the needs of our people and that was wrong and you know and also she was trying to make india happy with some of these things which was not necessary you know there are if there are enough fish in bangladesh and you know it can go there you know it will be okay but now that the situation is um, where well, we have a shortage our people are not able to access it and we are exporting it um, at a goodwill gesture or upuhar it used to be called a gift hmm. yeah. and also um, uh, sometimes we heard politically that if we give hilsha they will give us this the water so oh. that was not uh, never happened so there are political issues in it and yeah. i think yeah. this was yeah uh, it was made in a political way i think we should get out of the politics we should have friendship among the two countries we should have and also now you know when um, i find that the importers hilsha importers from india are uh, you know uh, requesting bangladesh government for uh, for allowing to import hilsha but that becomes a business issue when we are talking about the people's issue they are actually trying to do business out of it mm -hmm. and so that we also don't like it so but you know uh, would, would you yeah. then because i remember she would do this as a goodwill gesture but it is only to improve ties between india and bangladesh and whether we whatever the situation may be the india mm. yeah over this so india and bangladesh have a very good history together long history together don't you think denying hilsa is going to actually take away the relations a good relationship and could be a strain on the diplomatic ties between india and bangladesh at this point of time do, do you think that such a small thing would create um, hostility between the two countries i you know do you believe i i'm asking you counter question that how much you know our relationship must be very strong and it should not depend only one small thing like hilsha so i think hmm. indian people should appreciate 
that we are trying not to deprive them. We are trying to first take note of our need of our country, which you will do as your country as well. You know, I think Indian government will do the same for the products that they they produce or they have. So I don't think that Indian government would also allow certain products. You know, so when we have like shortage of onion and India doesn't want to export it, we have problem, but we cannot push India for that. So I think I will request Indian friends, my friends in Calcutta, that this time uh, we are not able to do it. So please uh, accept that fact. Okay, last question before I let you go, ma'am. Uh, the, the, the whole uh, idea of the Tista water, the troubles which is taking place and all the treaty, you would connect the hills. See, I report up to one day here. Yeah, yeah, Bangladesh ki advisor and I'm going to talk to you about it. It's so good and it's so good. I have never seen any political person from India talking to Bangladesh this way. They have explained so well in so good ways Indian media ko hai, ke there is already so much shortage in the Bangladesh market. Uh, hai, in uh, hai, Hilsa ki jo, uh, shortage is very much more than that. We can't export it to India. Ya, already Hilsa ki price is very very high. And we are trying to हजार से नीचे रखने की कोशिश करें। We are trying to keep it down uh, below one thousand, ठीक है? लेकिन one thousand तका के below लाना उसको possible नहीं हो रहा। At the same time, अगर बंगलादेश ये fish India को export कर देता है, अपने लोगों के मुंह से खींच के export कर देता है, तो जारी सी बात है यार, इसकी price बंगलादेश में मज़ेद increase होगी। So it's very important कि बंगलादेश में जो हिलसा मजूद है, उसको बंगलादेश की markets में ही sell किया जाए, ताके जो price है, उसको नीचे लाया जा सके, जो demand है, उसके according price जो है, नीचे आ सके, but still ये 1500 तका पे है, that a common person cannot buy the hilsa aur yahi wajah hai ki bangladesh ki janib se ye faisla kiya gaya hai aur unhone bahut bahut achhi baat kahi hai unhone kaha ki hum apne logon ko is fish se mehroom rakh ke india ki jo demand hai usko fulfill nahi kar sakte india ko hum ye fish export nahi kar sakte to yaar itna acha laga na mujhe in khatoon ki baatein sun ke uh, seriously, uh, I don't know, I feel very proud of you, but you know, it was very good to talk about it. And I've never seen a political leader, ko, India's political leader, ko, is tarah baat karte huye, nahi dekha. Seriously, what do you want to say about this question? What do you want to say about this question? Let's do it in the comment section. Mein video ko like and share your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Ka bhi, I will see you till then. Take care. Allah, peace be upon you.